There are a number of potential changes to the tax code that could impact the ability of people to save through their for their retirement, and particularly high net worth individuals. Um, there are proposals to limit the amount of savings one could accumulate in qualified plans and IRAs. Um, there are proposals that could limit your ability to um, have a non-spouse beneficiary of an IRA pull the money out over their lifetime. Instead, they would have to take it out over five years. That would be a significant reduction in the ability to have that kind of tax planning. Um, but we are, retirement is definitely on the agenda. Um, if we do tackle deficit reduction or tax reform, I think we will see some attempts to limit the ability to save in a tax preference way for retirement. It's very difficult to figure out how to talk to your clients about potential changes in the future that may affect their tax situation going forward when we don't really know whether we're going to have significant deficit reduction or comprehensive tax reform. The odds of either of those are pretty low actually in this environment. But I do think we will see incremental attempts to continue to reduce the deficit. And in that environment I do think the ability to save and invest for retirement may be cut back somewhat, particularly for higher income individuals. So I think that you need to talk to people about diversification from a tax planning perspective. Um, Roth may make sense. There are lots of different approaches that you can take to make sure that people are not invested in such a way that were there any change at all in the tax code, it would significantly affect their planning. So I think being cognizant of it, but not overly worried about it. it I, I would not recommend that people make major changes in anticipation that something might happen, because it could very well be several years, if at all, before we see real changes in this area. So the issue of what is the fiduciary standard that advisors operate under is very much on the forefront in Washington, being discussed by both the SEC in terms of harmonizing the fiduciary standard for investment advisors and broker-dealers, and at the DOL, where there's been an attempt to expand ERISA's definition of fiduciary to cover investment advisors and to cover investment advisors with respect to IRAs in addition to not just for 401k plans. Um, I think the SEC's efforts are slightly on the back burner. They are doing some cost-benefit analysis and thinking about the issue, but they are not moving with any due diligence um, to move forward. The DOL, on the other hand, I think was likely to repropose its definition of fiduciary possibly as early as this fall. Um, I expect it to be very controversial again. Um, you may recall they had to pull it back and repropose it um, because it was so controversial, particularly with broker dealers and the insurance industry, because it really didn't accommodate a com commission based business model. Um, I think they're going to come back with something somewhat similar. They're going to try to clarify the exemptions that allow people to be paid, but they are still, I think, going to try to cover IRAs, and I expect that it will be equally controversial. Um, so we're in for a long fight, and I, I don't see it happening, anything being put in final rule um, for quite some time.